Hello. Today I will be drafting a waistband and I'll also be doing the trace off. This waistband is for a 28 inch skirt waist and there is a one inch extension. I've cut my paper about um, 29 and a half inch inches and long and about um and the width is one and a quarter inch times two that's two and a half so i've cut my paper about three inches wide and 29 and a, 29 and a half inches long now i've just centered the paper and i'm joined a long horizontal line in the center of the paper and this horizontal line represents the weight the, the length of the waistband so that's what i'm doing and i've completed that and now i'm just drawing square in a line at the very edge of the paper okay now I've squared a line squared a vertical line and I'm measuring from the edge seven inches which represents a quarter of the waist measurement of 28. Okay, we don't count the extension in this regard. So now I'm going to mark a vertical 7 inch from the edge, a vertical 7 inch mark. And the skirt is open in the back. So at the very edge, we're going to label CB for center back. And at that center, and at that um, seven inch, we're going to measure side seam. And we're going to measure another seven inch. And that's another, that's going to be another vertical line. Okay. So center back, side seam, which seven and seven equals 14, which is half of the 28. So now we have another vertical. Okay. Just double checking my measurement. Make sure it's 14 inches so now we have so that's going to be labored center front we measure out another seven inches and draw another vertical line so what we have what have we so far we have center back side seam center front and this is going to be side seam so labor side seam and we measure out another seven inches okay Another seven inches and we draw a vertical line, which will represent center back. So we're gonna label that center back. And then we're gonna draw 
measure out for the extension one inch. So now we're going to make a one inch extension. So now we have our one inch vertical, which represents the extension. And that's going to hold the button. That's going to hold the, um, the button hole or snaps or whatever attachment you choose. Okay. Now I'm measuring out for the width. So the width is a quarter. So you measure out, the width is one and a quarter. You measure out one and a quarter on both sides of the horizontal line. Okay. And you should get two and a half inches in total. I'm just measuring out on both sides at one end. I'm going to do the same thing at the opposite end. One and a quarter on both sides of the horizontal line for a total of two and a half inches. And that represents the width, the total width of the waistband. And of course, all of this measurement is without seam allowance. Whenever I'm doing the trace off, we'll do the seam allowance. Okay. So now I just take my straight edge and I connect the dot from one end to the next, which represents half of the width of the waistband. And I'm doing it. So the opposite side as well. Okay. So now we have the total width of the waistband and the total length of the waistband without seam allowance. Okay. So I've divided up my waistband into quarters plus one inch extension. And the extension is up to you. You can use your discretion. But I think one inch is a um, good extension, one inch or three quarters. And I'm just cutting off the excess because I'm, um, I will be tracing out this and I will be adding seam allowance to this, okay? Now I'm just labeling waistband and put the cut one right side up. You can put your style number and you can put your fuse information as well. RSU represents right side up. I'm going to say use times 
one SSU sticky side up. So that's the waistband draft. Now I'm going to trace out the waistband and had seam allowance. And I'm double checking to make sure I've got my um, 28 inches plus my one inch extension. So my measurements are accurate. And now I'm ready to trace out my waistband. Okay. I've just added some tracing paper, put it over my waistband, use my um, see-through ruler to smooth out my paper. And now I'm going to trace out my waistband. Okay. And I'll trace out the order lines, the, the most order lines first. I'll just put my pattern weights, my pattern weight on my um, paper just to anchor it. And I'm using my straight edge to trace out the, um, the order edge of the waistband along the length I just use my see-through ruler to trace out one one the width at one edge and to trace out the um, side seam those are gonna be notches and the center front notches as well and the other side seam notches and the extension notches and the outer edge of the extension notch okay so now I'm going to um, now I'm going to add um, going to add seam allowance along one of the um, outer edges. Seam allowance is three eighths of an inch. And this seam allowance must match the seam allowance of your skirt waist. I repeat, this must match the seam allowance of your skirt waist. So three at seam allowance along the edge, along the length, and along the width, it's going to be a quarter seam allowance. Let's, less bulk, easier to turn. And along the opposite edge as well, I'm going to um, put a quarter inch. Okay. And I'm going to trace out I'm going to trace out uh, the crease line. Sorry, um, sorry, I'm going to trace out the, um, I'm going to put seam allowance on the other edge, 3 eight seam allowance. Okay, so I'm putting my 3 eight seam allowance. along the outer edge. That's my 3 8 seam allowance. 
So I've put my seam allowances, put my notches, I'm notching my waistband, N for notch. So I'm just putting in all the notches. And now I'm going to draw the crease line, the fold line. Okay. I'm drawing in my fold line. So the waistband will be folded on this line. And there must also be a notch, two notches, one on each end. Okay, you just draw your waist, your crease line as far as possible, straight to the edge. Make sure you have a long, nice long. Um, and this is also going to be the green line. So I've added my notches and I've labeled fold line. And now I'm labeling my waistband. Waistband cut one right side up. Okay. Facing cut one sticky side up. Okay. So that's the completion of my waistband. All there is to do now is to cut it out. And by the way, I did check, I did uh, measure the waistband and my skirt to make sure it matches um, this waistband. So I did measure from center front and center back to side seam on the quarter body of my um, skirt to make sure my measurements are accurate. When you measure, make sure you skip your dart width. Okay, that's very important. And I'm just cutting out my, um, just cutting out my waistband. Okay. Just cutting out my waistband. And there you go. It is as easy as that. That's my finished waistband with um, seam allowance. Okay. And you can put it on, um, if you put it on your, um, your draft, you should have everything matching up. All the notches at the right places. Okay. So that's it, guys. It is as easy as that. Okay? Righty.